morning, y'all. It's Chef Jeffrey of Old School Soul Food. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be making some of everybody's favorite. You got to be old school for this here. It's old school smothered oxtails. Look at these beautiful oxtails right here. Nice. Not too much fat on them. Nice and meaty. That's what you want when you buy oxtail. I gotta have a little fat on it just for flavor. Like I say, fat is flavor, fat is your friend. So, we're gonna smother these suckers up. I'm gonna show you the method I do. Before I get started, like I always say, please click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen, little red button, please subscribe. Please comment. I love feedback on all my videos. I don't get enough comments. Please comment, please share my video. So, that's important to me. So, let's get started. What I'm going to do, I'm going to season my uh, oxtail with salt and pepper on both sides here. I got my oil heating up here in my my uh, Dutch oven. You can use any kind of pot that you have. Sometimes I use a regular roasting pot, but today I'm going to use my Dutch oven. And I'm going to season them real liberally on both sides here. Get them good and seasoned. Okay, now I'm going to dust them with uh, all-purpose flour on each side and put them in the duct tub. What I want to do, I just want to brown them off on each side. I just want to sear them. The reason I'm using flour because I need this flour to make my gravy as it's cooking. Even though I'm going to put it in my gravy, back when I put it back in, I'll show you the method here in a second. When I put it back into the duct oven. But I also want this flour on here to continuously thicken it as it's cooking in the oven. It takes about two hours to cook in the oven, these uh, oxtails. Now those cooking there, I like to multitask here, as y'all know. I'm going to dice up some, all the thing I use in mine is onions and carrots. You can use celery. Some people put mushrooms. I just use onions and carrots in mine. Cut off the ends here. And I don't even peel these. I just cut off the tip and the back end. But I just use these for flavor. I actually not going to use it for eating. You can eat them. It has awesome flavor. You can eat. It. You can actually eat the carrots after they come out. Okay. I'm going to just rough chop these big large cuts because they, like you know, they're going to be cooking for two hours so you don't want to cut them too thin. Put them in a bowl here. Number two. pretty much the same way. Put the onions in here. We're going to mix them together, but we're going to cook them together here after we take the oxtails off. I'm going to turn these over. All we do is want a little brown on them. Nothing much. They're going to cook in the oven for two hours, so it's not a major thing. and beef stock. You I make my beef stock, but I got some store bought which will work just fine. I don't use a lot of beef stock. I make my own chicken stock. That's another thing I do use. I make my own chicken stock, but beef stock I don't use a lot of, so I just buy it. But it's very important you use a stock and not just all water, because you want to add flavor. You don't want to add non-flavor items. Okay, we're going to take these out. 
Quando uma sala é ver, é um computador, uma internet, é um mal. Eu vou eight pieces here. Big meaty oxtails here. Those in there. Other ones in there. And that's it. Nothing to it. Like I say, smothered oxtails is so, so simple. How are you doing? Searing them all, seasoning them, putting them in the oven two hours. Voila! It's ready. There's not a lot of seasoning, or not a lot of cooking to it. Again, on my videos, I'm going to do a lot of more side dishes. I've been getting requests to do more side dishes on my uh, videos. So, let's say this don't take long at all. At all. Again, please subscribe to the channel. I know I get a lot of views on my you know, videos. Not more views than subscriptions. I know people just watch them not subscribe. But I have a lot of videos. I got over 40 videos and I have more. Like I said, I have over 100 by this time next year on my uh, channel. Now these are brown, that's what you want. You want a nice brown color on them. See that? Okay, turn these over. Over here. Okay, those are seared. See, this duck oven is a nice piece of equipment to have. They don't take long. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit more oil to my pot here. I'm going to put these onions and carrots in here. Get a good sear on them. We definitely should make our gravy with this. Make our gravy with this here. First thing I do, I want to get a little colonization on my carrots and onions. Not a lot, but like I say, and then what I'm also doing, I'm getting all that little, as Emerald used to say, yum yums out of here, but the little remnants left over from when I seared the hot cell, I'm going to loosen them up. Another thing we're going to do, that's another purpose this, this does. Pretty much 
45 minutes, 30 minutes in the instant pot. A little different method than I do in my instant pot than I do here. Now, I'm going to add a little tomato paste. This to give it a little color and a little body. See, just a little tomato paste in here. It's going to give it some color and, and some and some body. We're going to move, we're going to work that around in there with the carrots and onions. Make sure you get it all coated on the carrots and onions in the flour. Coat there. Let's see, this is the hardest part right here in the, of the oxtail. I just like to add flavor to flavor. That's what I like doing. A little bit more. And this recipe is on the bottom of the description. I know I'm not giving you no measurements. But the recipe is definitely on the bottom description of the recipe here, of the uh, video here. Just look under the, under the video the subscriptions, and you'll see the recipe. And this is like a half a cup of, of uh, tomato paste. Look at that. How tender they are. 
Look at that. And we're going to plate some up here. Put this here on the side. I got some mashed potatoes here. I'm going to put them on the plate here so y'all can see how it looks. Put some in. Gotta have my oxtail with my mashed potatoes. The only way to eat oxtail to me. Until next time, have a blessed old school fall food day.